Punctuality is the soul of business. Running a few minutes fast or slow doesn't cut it in the networking world. The time has come to synchronize. We can't stress enough the importance of synchronized system clocks. They provide a frame of reference among all devices on a network. In this edition of Tech Talks, we'll show how to configure the system time settings through the command line interface on a CBS 250 or 350 series switch. Next. Let's head into the CLI of our switch. We'll need to have PuTTY downloaded on our computer. Loading our previously saved settings, our serial line is COM3, and that is where our USB serial cable is plugged in on our computer. Our speed is 115,200. This amount is needed to get into the CLI wire switch. If we were to use the default speed of 9,600, it's not going to load for us. With those settings checked, let's move forward. Now that our CLI is open, we'll enter in our username and password. Once inside, we'll take a look at our default clock settings by entering the command show clock detail. Let's go over the details. Here, we have the time of the device. SNTP is enabled, and it shows when the switch was last synchronized. We also have the time from the browser, which is disabled, and the time zone. The static message means that we need to statically set the time zone in order to get the correct time. We'll go over that in a moment. And finally, we can see that the DHCP time zone is disabled. If we scroll up, we can see that our time says 1116. For this example, that's not correct. It's 416 where we are, so we've got to get that fixed. Our date, though, is correct. So all we have to do is set the correct time zone. We're going to go into the privilege executive mode so we can enter in our commands. We can do that by entering config T. Now we can enter clock time zone followed by our time zone. In this example, it's GST. We are offset by seven hours, so we'll type minus seven and press enter. To check our clock details, we'll first enter exit. Now we can enter in our previous command, show clock detail. And now we can see that our clock is correct. That's going to be the easiest way to set the clock, but we aren't finished yet. We'll also show how to manually set the clock. To set the time manually, we're going to enter the command clock set. We'll enter in a question mark to see the correct format. We need to enter in hours, minutes, and then seconds, all in military format. Next, we'll enter in our month, which is December, followed by the day and the year. That's all there is to it. That's how to configure the system time settings through the CLI on a CBS 250 or 350 series switch. Thanks for watching this edition of Tech Talks. We'll see you next time.